Hi everybody, welcome to the spring semester of 2019 and to operations management. My name is Professor Bonzo. I will be your professor for this course. Um, to get us started, for those of you that might be new to either the program or to online learning, the first thing I want you to do is go through the course shell in Blackboard. I see that most of you have already been in uh, Blackboard it, even um, last Monday as well. Some of you working on homeworks, which is probably the first time that I've had somebody complete a homework before the official start of the semester, but more power to you. Um, please go through and look at all of the, um, the different course modules, the content. The most important thing I want for you to focus on up front in these first couple of days is making sure that you download and review the syllabus in detail. This is your guide to the course. It includes any, everything from the learning objectives, um, my expectations, and most importantly, what's on here is on the second page, is our course schedule. This aligns to all of the due dates that you see in all of the learning modules that you'll see in the Blackboard course shell, um, along with um, just key topics that we're going to cover, when things are due, how long the exams are gonna be open for, as well as my expectations and the, the grading scheme as well. If you have any questions after you re review the syllabus, please let me know. And that goes for the entire course. Please reach out to me if you're struggling with any content, um, with some of the more quantitative content. In the past, I've had some students that uh, maybe weren't quite getting something and they didn't feel comfortable reaching out until after they had not gotten something right on the test. I don't want that to be the case. I'm accessible pretty much all the time. Even if I'm traveling, I've always got my phone and my computer with me. Shoot me an email at sarah.bonzo at oswego.edu if something's not quite clicking for you. Um, I also would love to meet each of you. So I have, I'll send out in this announcement as well. Um, I have, I use You Can Book Me. So you can go on my schedule and you can set up 15, 30 minutes and even an hour, whatever you want. If you want one-on-one -on -one time, you can go through and automatically book that on my calendar. Any Monday or Wednesday, I'm in the office. If those days don't work for you or those times don't work, just shoot me an email and we can reschedule something at a time that's gonna be convenient for you. So as we get started, um, a couple things to cover as well. The textbook, I had sent out a course announcement already. I don't use the homework questions from the text, so there is no reason why you need to get the most recent version. I do think that the text is a great, a great tool and support system, especially in an online course where we're not in, this, in the classroom together working through some of these problems it does go through step by step and is a, is a big help, um, again, for some of the more quantitative coursework. So I would strongly suggest that, that you purchase the text, but go ahead and get an older version. Uh, you can get them on, on Amazon or Chegg. You can rent them, the, the text, for less than $15. If you have any questions or if you run into any issues with that, please let me know. To get started, um, please make sure that you go through, you start looking at the history of operations management. It, set, it sets the stage for some of the concepts of productivity, understanding all of the different kind of phases and errors that we've gone through, and where we are today with understanding and thinking about effectiveness and efficiency within organizations. There are two different concepts, and both of them are gonna play a role in, in what we cover throughout the course. Effectiveness is doing what we should be doing. What's our mission? What's our purpose? What drives us to do the work that we do? Efficiency, on the other hand, are, is more closely related to productivity. How can we get better? How can we do more with less? Less resources, uh, less, less time, less energy, um, and, and focusing on always making, uh, creating value for our customers. So that is gonna be the crux of everything that we talk through, but the different content that we'll cover up front, we're gonna talk about the history of operations management, some of those core concepts, and transitioning into strategy so that we do understand what makes us effective. What are those, what are the, the bigger mission and vision of the organization? And then what are all of the st strategic objectives that are gonna help support us and make sure that that can actually happen? And then all of the remaining content are gonna focus on some of the, the different tools that we can focus on that's gonna help us achieve our mission and vision and trying to figure out how we can be as efficient as possible while doing that. So we'll cover topics like forecasting, project management, we'll go through quality, product and process development, supply chain management, inventory control, and we're gonna wrap up with uh, some coverage of lean or the, the Toyota production system and some of the innovative ways that organizations have been pulling all of these pieces together in more recent years and how that's kind of spreading across different industries. 
we will have a final course project um, and there will be gr group work in this course. So um, I wanna make sure that as you go through and do your introductions, please take the time to just, just make a quick video. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, your interests, if you work somewhere, where you work, what you do or what you wanna do in the future. What I'll be doing is in the first couple of weeks, I'll be going through your videos. Um, you can let me know if there are a couple of people that you'd really like to work with throughout the course of the semester. Just send me an email um, and I will certainly do my best to accommodate those. I will have to keep, since this is a blended course, we have graduate students and undergraduate students in the course. I am going to keep the groups, um, groups of uh, um, all grad students together and all undergrad students together, but those are really the only requirements. And you can have up to a group of four. So the reason the groups are important is because with each topic that we cover, I'll be asking each group to choose an organization. Ideally, it is an organization that one of you work at, or if you have a parent or a friend or spouse um, that works at an organization, we wanna evaluate something that we can really get our hands around and we can kind of get some insider knowledge on how they, how they go about their operations. Um, and we'll be analyzing each of your, your groups, you'll be analyzing that organization based on whatever topic we're covering for the week. So for example, one of you may work at, let's say a Walgreens, right? How does Walgreens think about supply chain management? What does that mean for that organization? So there'll be a little discussion post at the end of each homework assignment starting in week two. And all of those pieces are gonna culminate in a final group presentation that you'll be doing via Zoom um, at the end of the semester. And so, also with those introductions, I want you to get some experience using Zoom. It's how I'm recording this video right now. Um, so go ahead and, and do it. There's a free download. That's all you should need for the course. A lot of organizations are using Zoom as well for um, interviewing, video conferencing, all kinds of things, presenting um, information. So getting this experience is probably gonna be helpful um, as well. But let me know if you run into any issues and as always, Right. If you're if you're struggling with any content or trying to figure out, you know, what you should do in a certain situation or figuring out the groups, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Again, my email is sarah.bonzo at oswego.edu and I look forward to working with you all this semester.